life as a human guinea pig. And at the risk of being too cute and clever, that is essentially the story of Ashanti da Silva, who is also the rare disease editor at an outlet called The Mighty. Ashanti, thank you so much for being here at the BioBus Center. Thank you for having me. So why don't we start by you sharing your medical history, your I'm story, sure. please. Yeah, um, I was born in 86, um, and it, two years later, after seeing about 40 doctors, I was finally diagnosed with severe combined immunodeficiency, which, um, is? which is a rare type of immune deficiency. Um, and it used to be referred to as the bubble boy disease. So basically no functioning immune system, no T cells, no B cells, no NK cells. Um, and I was falling sick all the time. So it really was amazing, especially in the 80s, to get a diagnosis, a rare one. Um, so I feel very lucky. At that time, the only thing available was enzyme replacement therapy, mm -hmm. which is what I was put on. Um, even that was in a clinical trial phase. I was one of the first people to be put on that. And it worked for a while. And after about two years, the effects of um, the enzyme replacement therapy was wearing off. And I really needed something else, otherwise I was slipping away. Mm -hmm. um, and the doctor who had diagnosed me, Dr. Sorensen, in Cleveland, Ohio, he had said, you know, there's this trial going on potentially at the NIH, and um, they're considering SCID ADA, so let me just send over her blood. And what is that? Uh, sorry, what is... Um, yeah. You were saying, you oh. just mentioned an acronym or an abbreviation. Oh, sorry, yeah. severe combined immunodeficiency. Thank you. Um, and so let me send over her blood. Um, you know, no guarantees, don't get your hopes up, but who knows, maybe in her lifetime. That's what they told my parents. Um, so my mother continued to have hope. My father was like, this is never going to happen. Um, and, you know, they were lucky enough in 1990 to get a call from the doctors who were working on it. Um, and they, they chose me um, to be the first recipient of gene therapy. First patient uh, in the world. The first patient in the world. Um, wow. Yeah, it was really amazing. And I, I'd like to highlight that one of the reasons they chose my family, I think when there's such like a controversial treatment, um, it's really important to take into many things into consideration. One of those things the doctors were considering was, do, would the family understand some of the science behind this? Would they be able to ask the right questions? And I was lucky um, that my father was a chemical engineer and my mother was a nurse. Um, so they were involved every step of the way, mm. you know. Um, so here you are, yeah. all those many years later, yes. clearly healthy and thriving. Um, and now you're working, as I mentioned, at The Mighty. So yes. for people who aren't familiar with that, tell us about this outlet. Yeah, it, it's been amazing to work at The Mighty. I actually found them online a year before I started working for them in 2016, when I was newly diagnosed with another rare condition. And it was the first site I had ever seen where it's stories about conditions written by patients themselves or written by family members of who have someone with that condition in their family. Um, and it was really powerful because I think oftentimes when you're newly diagnosed with any condition, you will go to a site like Wikipedia or WebMD. Dr. Google. Dr. Google. And it's very impersonal and it, it feels even more isolating um, when you're just looking at symptoms and what can happen to you. Um, and especially with a rare disease, it's very hard to find those connections um, and find people you can actually relate with. And I found that on The Mighty. So for a year after I was newly diagnosed, I followed them. Um, and it's been wonderful working for them. We're now the largest digital health community. We have over one and a half million members. Wow. Yeah. That's um, great. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. So now, from that, back to you. To yeah. see the explosion, the beginning yeah. of the fulfillment of the promise of gene therapy actually coming to reality, coming to fruition, what that's like for you having been patient zero in that field. It's amazing to see it have come full circle um, from the first trial ever in the world to now it's, you know, being sold and it's a commercial therapy um, being used. And this is what my parents and I had hoped, and obviously the, do the doctors and researchers behind this, is that it would be used to treat many conditions. Um, to see it go beyond skid ADA, the condition that I have, is really amazing. And I have a lot of hope for where it's going to go. Um, and I'm excited, you know, any time that I can to really be an advocate for gene therapy um, because it really has saved my life. That's awesome. You and a lot of people have a lot of hope 
and now yes. we're seeing that hope translated into reality. Yes. Ashanti De Silva, thank you so much for being here at the Bio Bus thank Center. You. If you want to read more from her and her teammates, go to themighty.com. Thank you.